Hey what is up guys, welcome back to another Minecraft Java video. Today we're going to take a look at the best Minecraft Zoom mods for Fabric on Minecraft Java Edition. I am on the latest release of Minecraft Java Edition which is version 1.18.1 and these are the best Zoom mods on Fabric which we can currently use for version 1.18.1 and these Minecraft Zoom mods basically allow us to zoom in at a particular location and see that area even more zoomed in. So if you guys are in PvP or in PvE and if you guys want to look at that particular area and you want to zoom into that area then you can go ahead and do that using these three mods which I'm going to talk about today and show you guys what they offer. For those of you who have ever used Optifine, you would be used to the zoom function from Optifine. However, now with Fabric, we are able to actually have the zoom function in Fabric as well, thanks to these Minecraft zoom mods on version 1.18.1. So let's go ahead and take a look at the best Fabric zoom mods for Minecraft Java Edition version 1.18.1. Alright, so the first Minecraft Zoom mod for Fabric that I would recommend you guys check out is actually called Logical Zoom. And you can see from the description, it does say a simple zoom, and that is exactly what that does. So let me actually go back inside the game and go into first person mode, and let me quickly zoom in into a particular area. So one thing to note is that the zoom key by default is actually the letter C. So let me go into my controls and click on keybinds. I'm quickly going to go ahead and reset my keys. And as you guys can see, for the creative mode here, it says save hotbar activator, and the C key is actually assigned to the save hotbar activator function. If I go down, you can see for logical zoom, again, the C key is also assigned for the toggle zoom. So you can either go into the save hotbar activator and give it another key, basically, or you can change the logical zoom key to V instead of C. So let's actually go and have a look at how the zoom actually works. So when I press and hold down C on my keyboard, you can see that I am actually zooming in at that particular area where my crosshair is pointing. Now, you will also notice there is a cinematic type feeling here. There is a cinematic camera mode that also gets enabled. So when I'm moving my mouse, it does actually have that cinematic type feeling. Now, I do know that some people don't like that and some people do like it. It is down to personal preference. You can't change that, unfortunately, but that is how this zoom mod works. So if you guys are looking for a no-nonsense simple zoom mod and you don't mind this cinematic type feeling with the camera then i would recommend that you guys check out the logical zoom mod on fabric for minecraft java edition version 1.18.1 the next Minecraft Zoom mod I would recommend that you guys check out on 1.18.1 is actually called OK Zoomer, and some of you might have heard of this mod. It does actually have a lot of customization options within this mod. If you guys are using the Mod Menu mod, then you can actually go ahead and configure this mod. So as you guys can see, it says adds a highly configurable zoom button. By default, this mod provides its own take on zooming. However, with configuration, you can drastically change the zoom with something more familiar or useful the zoom is yours and you can actually go ahead and configure this mod it does have a lot of options in the configure section for the ok zoomer config screen let's take a look at the default zoom and how that looks so by default the zoom key is the c key on our keyboard and as you guys can see we don't actually have that cinematic type camera feeling by default another good thing is that we can actually go ahead and zoom in even more so i'm going to scroll my mouse wheel up and just take a look at the amount of zoom detail we can actually get with this mod just have a look at that it's quite insane we can actually zoom in quite a lot as you guys can see and if you guys are looking into the distance then you can actually see things much more clearer and if you guys are in pvp or pve this is really useful so you can actually see further in the distance if you wanted to do that so i would recommend that you also check out this zoom mod let's take a look at some of the options that we can actually go ahead and configure for the ok zoomer mod so let's go back into the ok zoomer section and click on the configure button here as i mentioned earlier the cinematic camera is turned off but you can actually go ahead and turn this on it does actually have a vanilla mode as well so let's go ahead and enable that and let me zoom in again and as you guys can see I am moving my mouse 
slightly and the camera is moving in a cinematic type of feeling so if you guys are liking the cinematic feel then you can go ahead and enable that as well the other cinematic camera mode is called multiplied so let's take a look at that and how that looks and feels so as you guys can see it's a slightly different feeling to the vanilla type cinematic camera there you can also change the sensitivity options there you can also change the zoom transition and make it smoother or linear or turn that off as well you can also have the zoom mode to hold toggle or persistent you can also mess around with the values so you can see that the zoom device is set to four and the maximum zoom device is set to 50 so you can actually go ahead and change all of that one really cool tweak that this does include is this one here which says unbind conflicting key so let me go back into my control section here click on key bind so let me just reset the keys so if you go take a look the zoom key is actually c for this zoom mod and it is conflicting with the creative mode save hotbar activator now if we go back into the mod section here click on configure and if you scroll down there is a tweak here which says unbind conflicting keys so i'm going to click on this now and as you guys can see it says unbounded conflicting key if i then click on done go back into my controls and then the key binds you can see that it has actually removed the save hotbar activator key completely and now i can use the c key to actually zoom in properly there are some other cool things that you can do with the zoom mod and one of them is the zoom overlay so i can actually have a vignette type overlay when i am zooming so let me go ahead and take a look at that so when i press the c key on my keyboard you can see that there is a vignette type feeling across the screen there and it is darkened the edges which is the vignette effect that we can expect let's go ahead and change the zoom overlay and the next setting we can choose is called spyglass and let's take a look at how that actually looks so when i press c you can see that we have that spyglass type effect so you guys can go ahead and enable this type of effect and it would actually have the spyglass effect when you are zooming in you can also go ahead and change different options here in the ok zoomer config screen so overall i would say if you guys are looking for a fabric minecraft zoom mod for 1.18.1 with loads of different customization options then i would recommend that you guys check out the ok zoomer mod for 1.18.1 the next mod I would recommend that you guys check out is actually called We Zoom or WI Zoom, and it says the zoom from the worst client as a standalone mod. And this zoom mod is actually one of my favorite zoom mods currently, and I am using this with some of my mod packs as well and i think it is actually one of the closest we are going to get to the optifine type zoom unfortunately there is no configure button here so we can't actually go ahead and configure the options but it does actually do a couple of things right in the actual mod itself so we don't actually need to configure the mod itself because it is actually working as it should and one of the things that it does correctly is it actually auto assigns the v key as opposed to the c key so we don't actually have any conflicts by default so i can just press the v button on my keyboard and i can actually zoom in it also disables the cinematic zoom so for those of you who do like the cinematic type feeling then i would recommend you guys get the ok zoomer mod and enable it in that but if you guys don't like the cinematic camera then definitely get this mod it also has the mouse so we will scroll to zoom in even more so you can actually scroll and zoom in quite a bit as you guys can see this is close to 50x zoom so it's really cool i would recommend that you guys check out this zoom mod it is one of those mods where you can just install it and not have to worry about configuring it or having any conflicts with other keybinds such as the other two mods which we did mention and the Wii Zoom mod looks like a mixture of the logical zoom and the OK Zoomer mod with the best features from both of those mods so in my opinion if you guys are looking for a no-nonsense zoom mod that is able to zoom in quite a bit and it doesn't have the cinematic camera and by default you don't have to worry about any keybind conflicts you can just press the v button on your keyboard and zoom in quite nicely there then i would recommend that you guys get the we zoom 
mod for Fabric for Minecraft Java Edition version 1.18.1. Do let me know which one of these Zoom mods do you guys prefer and which one would you use in your Minecraft game in single player. If you did enjoy the video, please do give us a like. If you have any comments or queries about how to use these Zoom mods and where to get them from, do leave them in the comment section below. I will leave a link in the description where you can actually go ahead and check out more information on these Zoom mods. Please also subscribe to this channel to help support it, help it grow, and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching.